In the previous lecture, you learned how to set up a Corio so that it stores sensor data to a Google spreadsheet. In this lecture, I'll show you how to use Google's Gmail service to enable your Arduino to send out emails containing the same sensor data in an arbitrary message. As you will see, the process of setting up the Gmail Corios is very similar to that of the spreadsheet Corio. The biggest difference is that in Gmail, authorization works in a different way to that of Google Spreadsheets. If you don't use Gmail, you can simply opt to use a generic email Corio. Let's get started. In the previous lecture, I showed you how to create a simple Corio so that you can get humidity and temperature readings from a DHT sensor on your Arduino Uno and have that stored in a Google Spreadsheet. In this lecture, I will have a look at another Corio. This time it's going to be an email Corio that will allow you to get the same readings from the Arduino and then email them to yourself instead of storing them in a spreadsheet. The process is very similar with the exception of the authentication step. So with uh, the email Corio, authentication happens in a slightly different way. Let's get started. So I want to create a Corio that sends out an email through my Gmail account. And to do that, I can just search for Gmail in the library search box to see if Tempu has got anything relevant. So under Google Gmail, there's the sent email Corio. If you don't have Gmail and you prefer to use a, another email service, then you can just search for email and that will return the generic email, sent email, Corio, uh, where you can just achieve the exact same outcome as I'm going to show you with my Gmail account. So let's go back to Gmail. And I would like to use the sent email Corio. And uh, Tembu has already populated my IoT settings, so I'll be using an Arduino with the Arduino Ethernet Shield, just like I did in the previous example, in the previous lecture. The bits of information that I need to provide to set up this Corio include a password, username, from address, message, body, subject, and to address. And then specifically, when it comes to the password, uh, uh, what I need here is an app-specific password. So Google gives me the ability to create multiple passwords for each of its applications, and then I can use each password, for example, on a different device or in a different application. So with my Gmail account, for example, I can have a different password uh, to the same Gmail account that I can use on my desktop email client or on my smartphone email client or the tablet uh, email client and so on. So instead of sharing a password which has security implications, I can have different passwords for each one of those devices. And then if needed, if I lost the device, for example, I can revoke that password so that uh, whoever has my phone, for example, cannot get into my email anymore. So let's go ahead and create an app specific password. So here I am in my Gmail account and I'll go and access my account settings and drill into sign in and security. And then down here, there's a page called app passwords. So I'll click on that. And here I've got already a couple of uh, app specific passwords. So I'll just create a new one. So from the uh, drop down, I'll select other and I'll give this a name. So Tembu example, I'll call it and generate this password. So here Gmail has created a random password. I'm just going to copy it and store it temporarily in my text editor. And then I can 
go back to taboo and paste that app specific password here. Great, then I'll fill in the rest of the credentials and the details. So my username is this for my email account. And for from, I'll use the same account for the message body. I'll say that this is just a test from Tambu. Subject line, this is just a test. And to address, I'll send the emails to myself. Great. We set now to go ahead and run it, do a test run. So successful, success status is true. So let's have a look at the new email. There you go. So that's the email that was just generated by Tempu and sent to my email address. Okay. Let's check out the code that Tempu generated. So just like before, we've got the main code and then the header file. And in the, the main code, we've got all the libraries included up in the beginning. Uh, we've got the setup function uh, that deals with the Ethernet uh, shield setup. And then inside the loop, we've got the, the portion of the code that does the actual sending. And you can see here that the message is constructed bit by bit. So first I've got my from address, then I've got my username, I've got the to address subject, the password, this is the app specific password, and the message body. Any of those lines of code you can use in order to customize your message. I'm going to save this information in a text editor window like this, because what I want to do next is instead of having all of this information in the clear in my sketch, I'd rather create a new profile like that, which is the same thing as what we did in the previous lecture with the spreadsheets. So by having a profile, I can uh, avoid having all this information, some of which is sensitive inside the body of my text. Still waiting for this to save. Okay, saved. And instead, all I do is invoke a profile and then set the choreo and Tambu will fill in the information that is needed when the choreo is invoked on Taboo, on the cloud. So this, this sensitive information will never travel uh, through the internet, at least not from my Arduino, which has no encryption on it, to Taboo. That information stays in Taboo and hopefully it's a lot more secure than staying on my uh, non-encryption capable uh, Arduino. First, before I do any modifications to the sketch, I will download it and run it on my Arduino to make sure that it works. Okay, so it's in here. Let's open up the sketch. So here is the exact same sketch that Tambu generated. I will upload it and it should just work out of the box. Okay, done uploading. Let's check out the serial monitor. Send email run one. Let's have a look at my account. Okay, so there's a couple of emails that already made it through. This is just a test. Okay. Let's do a modification then. So what I want to do is to modify the sketch so that first uh, it grabs readings from the DHT22 sensor and then second, it overrides the settings from the profile so that uh, the, the message and the subject of the email are customized to contain those readings. So I'll start with 
making the modifications for the sensor first. So I'll copy the code for the sensor. So I'll set up the sensor up there. So include the library and set up the data pin. And then in the setup meta function, I will start the object for the sensor. And then I'll go into the loop. And after the setting of the choreo, or the selection of the choreo, I'm going to construct the message. I'm just going to change the name to make it more meaningful. Sensor value message. So I'll call it that. And I would like it to start by saying something like temperature is and then the reading from the sensor and that will be followed by humidity is and that will be followed by the reading from the sensor okay now I need to overwrite the main components of the message and that is the message body and the message subject so let's have a look at the original code or the code from the original choreo that tempo generated and in here you'll find a couple of instructions that we'll need to use so there is the subject value and there is the message body so i'll start by copying this line and put that into my current choreo at this position. I'm just going to switch the message body value from the original sketch to the one that I'm actually using here, sensor value message. So now I've got uh, sent choreo at input. The message body is overwritten with the text that contains the readings from the sensor. And I'd like to override the subject as well. So I can do it like that. Just copy these two lines and paste them here. Something like that would do. Okay, that should be good to go. Let's upload it. Check out the output from the serial monitor. Okay, so the first email should now be on its way. There you go. So lab environment values included. So there's temperature, oop, there's humidity only. What I meant to the message for temperature. Let's have a look. Uh, Uh, of course, see, I forgot the little plus sign here to append. So uh, I, I lost the word temperature. So now I added the little plus sign to append to the existing string, and that should do the job. So I'll plot again and test it. All right, so there's the latest message with a complete uh, body included. Awesome. So that was an example of how you can use Tempu to allow your Arduino to send out email messages with arbitrary content, in this case with content from uh, the DHT22 sensor. In the next lecture, what I'll do is show you how to combine two arbitrary choreos together. In, in our case, it's going to be the spreadsheet and the email choreo in order to create your own custom workflows. We'll do that in the next lecture.